All right, this is Leroy Diesel coming to you. I'm going to show you um, some gapless piston rings for the 6.5 turbo diesels. Uh, this happens to be on a P400 that I'm working on. Um, so hopefully you find this uh, informative. Right here I've got a P400 piston. And this is the second ring. Second ring that has been machined along its perimeter to accept the ring that comes with the uh, gapless ring setup. And uh, basically, this small ring just fits into this uh, ledge that's been machined into that piston ring. Uh, but when it's installed on the piston, you want to make sure that the gaps are opposite of each other. So I'm going to try to show you that here. I'm going to be as quick as I can. I have done it on uh, some other pistons and it you know, takes a little bit of time. Um, so here we go. For my the top piston, the top ring is already out. And just like that, you always run into problems. With the, top ring I've already got out. And this thing's going to keep popping on me every time. So, see if I can do it the old-fashioned way. No, I don't want to force it. Didn't feel right. Okay, there it goes. Okay, that's in there. Then I found a trick to this is to wherever this gap is, to put this on the opposite side, and it goes on the bottom side in this application. So you just want to work this little thin ring all the way around on the bottom side. So you can just stick that in the bottom right there and there's enough play in this thing because it's so flexible that you can actually work this thing around and uh, it seems to be a whole bunch quicker than trying to uh, do it the way I used to do it which was being to install it all at one piece and then trying to slide this ring around to get it in position. Uh, getting it past the gap here seems to be about the hardest part. And only being able to work with two hands here. There it goes. Okay, that's about all there is to it. You just got to make sure that that second very thin ring that comes with the, uh, the, the kit, just make sure that it's absolutely in. I don't know if you can see this on the video, but there's the under that original machine surface. And uh, there's the one side of the gap and here's the other side of the gap. But you just got to make sure that all the way around this whole piston that that little thin ring is actually engaged and is riding in that flange. And it really, it's hard for it not to be when you get it installed there properly. And it's hard for it to actually come out of that uh, flanged area because there's only enough room in the piston ring groove for it to fit properly. Um, so... That's about it. And then um, what I've got here is I've got another setup of piston that um, I've got ready to go in the hall. Just to show you this if you're curious. Move the uh, tripod.
crock pot over here. Okay, so this is the actual P400 here. I've got this real nifty uh, piston ring uh, compressor here, which is this piece right here. It has the uh, worm gear clamp on one side, and over here there's a little slit which goes all the way across, and it makes it uh, a little more user friendly, I think, than the ones that are just a solid piece. It makes it where you could potentially use it on different engines also. But this one's set up for a four inch uh, diameter bore. So let me set this down, see if I get lucky enough that that piston will actually go down in the hole. That's all there was to that. And then what you would do is on the next one, you would drop it down in the corresponding hole down in the block and then the compressor, uh, let me get this going, the piston ring compressor will be on the block and then it will it's kind of self-explanatory here, but I'm just trying to work and get this in the viewfinder all at the same time. But this will go up on there, and as it goes down in, then uh, the piston rings are compressed. And uh, then, as you saw just a second ago, that piston just knocks in there real nice and easy. Uh, another thing that I do is I have a little Tupperware dish here right here and that's full of uh, 1540 motor oil and I just give these pistons a real quick dunk in that just to lubricate everything and uh, then I actually stab them after that um, that's about it if you have any questions it's a pretty simple thing it just takes a lot of time to especially your first time to put these gapless rings in um, the first time it probably took me a couple hours and um, now now I can do it in oh I don't know an hour something like that um, so but if you have any questions as always give me a call um, or look me up online at uh, LeroyDiesel.com uh, my phone number is posted there and um, have a good day